Pacific salmon are a living symbol of migration and the journeys that many animals must make to survive. From across the North Pacific, adult salmon from thousands of populations retrace their paths inland through branched river networks back to the very streams they were born in and where their next generation will emerge. And if you followed these young salmon, you would see another migration that is seen only by those who are looking for it. Each spring, young salmon of all species, Chinook, Sockeye, Coho, Chum, and Pink, begin to move out of nursery and rearing habitats and move downstream. Throughout the Pacific Rim, these fish come from thousands of local runs, each adapted to their home river and with their own unique pattern of migration. Beneath heavy spring river flows, these young salmon make a quiet journey downriver. An invisible migration that some communities and nations honor and celebrate. And a fateful migration that many researchers and fisheries managers are learning more about and discovering new insights into the ecology of this out-migration of young salmon. Like just how important river estuaries are as nursery habitats for young salmon smolts to feed and grow before they move into the open ocean. And how large river estuaries can act as transit hubs that support the out-migrations of scores of unique salmon populations. And how the size and migration timing of each young salmon will control whether it is one of the few that will survive to make a return migration. because it is these tiny silvery salmon that if estuaries and other habitats critical to the salmon life cycle are protected and restored, will someday return as adults to shape the next generation and will continue to nourish ecosystems, people, and cultures.